Welcome back to HFM.Parts channel. We're in the shop today installing a brand new HFM tie rod ends. These ones are for Toyota 86 and Subaru BRZ. Move in a bit closer. Start by unlocking the tie rod end lock nut and removing the split pin. Undo the 19mm castle nut. If you don't have a tie rod end splitter, you can follow what's here by using a large hammer. Give the knuckle a swift hit where the tie rod end enters the knuckle to release your old tie rod end. When you lower your car, the toe setting may change resulting in some level of bump steer. The suspension and tie rod arm move upwards causing the rack to pull in an upwards direction. However, you want the rack to pull in a horizontal direction, which will reduce bump steer. By using the included spaces, you can adjust the rack to remain as close to horizontal as possible. Now that we're done with the science part, we're going to screw the old OEM tie rod in and put in our new HFM Parts tie rod in. Nice. Remove the top castle nut from the shank and push up through the knuckle as shown. Pull the shank up all the way and reinstall the castle nut loosely until you figure out where you want the rack to sit. From this point, you can add and remove the included 5mm spacers above and below the tie rod end until you're satisfied with the height of the steering rack. Remember, you want this to be as horizontal as possible. Once you're happy with the position of the tie rod end, tighten the castle nuts enough for you to locate the split pin holes and then insert the split pins. Finally, using our fancy two spanner hold, we finish by tightening the turnbuckle lock nuts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Go to hfm.parts. After installing any new tie rod end, we recommend that you have your steering alignment checked by a professional.